Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a group um, on Facebook. So I'm on my home page, just my regular page where I, you know, scroll through and read stuff. And I'm going to go over here to groups. Um, I think you can also get there. I'm going to show you another way to get there just in case you don't see it over there. You can go, you know, click on your name. So you go to your profile and click on more. And here you can see groups as well. But it's also over to the left. So it lists all these groups it thinks I should join or I do belong to or whatever. But I'm going to go to create group. I'm going to name my group. And I'm going to say mock Haley's book or launch. launch. And you can call it whatever you want. Book bash, launch party, whatever. Um, and I'm going to add you to it just so you can see. Because you always have to add a person to a group. So you can add me to your group. I don't know why it's not letting me add you. Hang on. I'm not typing right. H-A-I-L-E. There you are. Um, and then I'm going, and it's a closed group. That's what you want it to be. And then I'm going to create it. And then you'll see here we are in our group. And so over here is where you can add people to your group. So you can go down through your friends list after you invite them and they want something. But don't invite them until or don't add them until after we get the page you get your page all set up so when i set up a group um i upload a photo here for your cover photo and i'm going to go find something right now for you and then i'm going to add a couple of posts to this group so um okay first i have to i'm going to click over to another screen you, you won't be doing this but I'm going to click over to another screen and open Facebook again so I can find a group image for you because I think we have some in Story Builders. Uh, da, 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 da. Story Builders. I was born Story Builders. Here we are. Sorry, I'm taking you through the long way. I should have had all these pictures downloaded and stuff, but I didn't. But over here in um, Photos in our group page, you can see um, that we have albums, and one of them is a launch party album I'm sure I thought we had a launch party thing let me see da, 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 da. Facebook launch graphs graphics there they are and so you can I don't know which one of these is a group I you could personalize this one and put your name in there but let's find one that's already done okay so you could use the same graphic if, if you want to so you you have to open up the picture and then you have to save it to downloads from that. You can't just um, save it to downloads from like, you know, from the album. You got to click on it. And so then I'm going to go back over to your group and upload that photo. It's probably down here at the bottom. Nope, that's my old ones probably here at the top there it is okay so I'm gonna um, click on it and choose and it'll put it here awesome you can drag it a little to reposition it if you want and then save um, if you need to change the name of your group or anything else come here and click on this and you can edit group settings so like you want to change the name to instead of Ma Kaylee's launch party this isn't gonna be yours you want to do your own um, and so you can edit the group settings. Um, you can make me um, uh, an admin of your group if you want me to be able to post there, but I don't think you really need to, to be honest. Um, and you want to click notifications, all posts. This is where you do that. So you can do that, like, let's go back to your regular party. This is how you show people to do this if you need to show somebody. Um, Facebook, unless you are the admin, Facebook will add them getting only highlights. So you need to make sure they do all posts. And then, um, okay, so then I want to add, I'm going to go find our mock Facebook show, and I'm going to show you what I usually add before the show starts. And you can actually do these from the mock show. So before the show starts, I, the worst thing about a group is things don't stay in order. Like, these aren't the, in the order that I posted them in. Because um, people, once they comment on it, it bumps it back to the top. So you can see these are some of my pre-party posts. Oh, that's a nice picture of me. 
Okay, this is the first thing I put. I always put this on the wall before anybody joins. This is about me, and I want you to do a post like this about you with your kids um, and show your kids on Facebook. Um, okay, so then I'm going to go back over here, and I just copied and pasted that. I'm going to add that photo that I just downloaded. I probably already have that on my computer, but... Do, 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 do. There's my cute boy. And then I like to like, sometimes when you copy and paste, you have to go back through and put spaces in so people can read it easier. So I'm going to put that on the wall and then I'll go back over here to the mock party. Let's see what else I want to put on here. Sometimes I'll have this on the wall before they start. <clears throat> Two or three posts that can just be, they probably won't even look at them that much. <laughs> but it's like, if you don't have some posts on your wall, it's like walking into a party that's not decorated. If you add people before you have this stuff up, um, or if you just add one person at a time, instead of getting your 10 first and then adding them, it's like they're being the first person to a party and they're lonely. You know, you want people to interact. So it's before I add anybody to the wall, I'm gonna add all of this stuff to it. And I downloaded those pictures. I think I downloaded Peter Osborne. Yeah, there he is. And you can use these same posts if you want to. Um, you can go back to your party and the party you had. And if you, there was posts that you love, you can use those. Um, so that is what I would do. And then after I add people, so invite, you know, add your friends. Um, after you do, you can pick two or three posts to put there. These are, you know, one of them should be you like this and then pick a couple of others. You don't really need them to be involvement posts because people, um, are not going to go back through and comment on things that are already there. After you get your 10 people invited and added to the wall, do a post like, I'm sorry, I went to the wrong thing. Um, from the mock party, like a post like this. This is one of my favorite involvement posts. Name the last book you read. And I added you to this mock party, so you should be able to find it here. Name the last book you read, and then um, I post mine here. I tell them what I just read, and, you know, this is the text that I put. After they are in your party, I would come and get this post and put it in that party. Um, and you could say, hey, guys, I'm so glad you're here at the beginning of it. Um, Here's your first post you get to comment on to earn some uh, an entry into the prize drawing. So I always put like prize entry and we're going to give away a free book at the end of the show, et cetera, et cetera, on some of these posts. You'll see them. And I always tell them that for every comment they make on any post, they get an entry into the prize drawing. And you'll see as you read through the posts that I'm going to, um, the next thing I'll do, but I have to wait a few minutes, is... Um, I have to, I'm going to show you how to post from Visly um, to auto post. But right now you can, you can post by hand some of these pre-party posts. So if you're going to add people tonight, you're 12 people. I'm seeing right here that you have 12 people. You're awesome. And I'm sorry you're blocked for 24 hours. That's a very sad thing. Um, but um, um, now you can text, anybody who you have text messages, text numbers for, you can text them instead. So keep inviting people. Um, so anyway, yeah, you can go ahead and get your group started, add them, and then do something with involvement that they have to answer like this. Like, here's my favorite involvement posts. Um, this one is good. And then there's one that is, this is fun. If your house number was your monthly book budget, that's a fun one. Uh, this is not the first thing I do for wish lists. I, that's after I do them. Then I start tagging people there. How old is your reader? That's a good one, but I would wait till everybody's in there. This is the one I do like the day before the show. Um, that's an actual party post, party post. If they have numbers in front of them here, they're party posts, not pre-party posts. There's a, like a word game one that's amazing that always gets this one. This game gets so much interaction. Oh my gosh, it's hysterical. Um, so anyway, uh, that... I'm trying to see if there's any more really interactive things. This was a mock party, so I didn't do as many. Here's one um, that you, here's what you can post. Um, I'll put this over in our party so you can keep track of it. You could actually do a screenshot from your own computer, or you can use this picture, or there's other graphics too. Oops, not what I meant to do. But you can see this helps them know to do all notifications. I'm going to put this in our little you and me party. 
but yeah, after you get all your people in there, you might want to post this. Like you put your 12 people in and you'll probably put a few more people in tomorrow. Um, so post this like maybe tomorrow, make this your post. Did I not? There it is. That has my picture on it. So I don't know if you know how to screenshot or not, but if you can screenshot it on your phone, like what I would do on my phone is go like pull up this group and then I would go to notifications and, you know, show this just like this. And then I would just screenshot it on your phone and post it. And that way it'll have your face here instead of mine because you're the one who created the group. Okay. I think that's good. I'm going to um, send this to you.